How is it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is finally nice enough where I don't have to work on the cars at the shop. So we're in my driveway. We're gonna be doing some routine maintenance on the Tacoma. I'm picking up a trailer this weekend. So I wanna make, I wanna make sure that this thing is ready to go for the track season where we're gonna be trailering the FRS to the track. So we're gonna change out the spark plugs. This is recommended to do every uh, 30,000 miles or every three years, whatever comes first. You can pick up some spark plugs at your local dealership, which is what I did. Once you have that, we can get started. First thing we're gonna do is remove the negative battery terminal with a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. We're gonna remove the engine cover next that's just held in with two 10 millimeter nuts. Once those nuts are removed, just pull the engine cover up and out of the engine bay. We're gonna be working on the passenger side first, so we need to remove this portion of the intake to get access to the coil packs and spark plugs. So normally you would just unclip these and then uh, loosen up this clamp to get this portion off. But my clamp is very much rusted, so I'm pretty sure this is going to snap if I try to loosen it. So instead, I've removed the two 12 millimeter bolts that are holding the hose assembly in place so that I can just remove this whole assembly. Once that's removed, we have access to the coil pack, so we can go ahead and unclip them. And then we can remove the 10 millimeter bolts that are holding them in place. Now we can pull the coil packs out. Then we can take a 5.8 spark plug socket with a couple extensions to remove the old spark plugs. If you don't happen to have a spark plug socket, you can just use a regular socket and then fish out the spark plugs with a magnet. Now we can take the new spark plugs, insert them into the spark plug socket, and then hand thread them into the engine. With all three of the new spark plugs installed, we'll torque those down to 14 foot pounds. the new spark plugs installed, we can reinstall the coil packs. Go ahead and tighten those 10 millimeter bolts down. Make sure not to over tighten these. They don't need much. Then we can clip the harnesses back in and then we will reinstall the intake and move over to the driver's side. Jumping over to the driver's side, it's a little bit trickier only because there's a bunch of hoses and stuff in the way, but the process is essentially the same. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this support bracket here that's held in with two 12 millimeter bolts, and that's gonna give us enough room to access the coil packs. 
unclip them, unbolt them, and then get the new spark plugs installed. You can probably just get away with loosening that bottom bolt and moving this when you need the room, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take the whole thing out. You're not gonna have much room to unplug the coil packs on the driver's side with all this stuff in the way. So what I did was took a smaller flathead screwdriver to pry up on the actual locking clip of the connector and then use a larger flathead screwdriver to pry it off of the coil pack. Once you have it released, you can simply just pull the connector off. For the coil pack that's furthest to the front of the engine, I have the connector released, but I'm just gonna leave it on there because there isn't quite enough room for me to pull it completely off. But once we get the 10 millimeter bolt off, I should be able to pull that off of the coil pack. Now we just need the 10 millimeter socket and extension to get the bolts off. Coil packs are out, so I can pull the spark plugs out now. The old spark plugs are removed so we can install the new ones and then again torque them down to 14 foot pounds. I've got the new spark plugs installed, so now we just have to reinstall the coil packs, get that bracket reinstalled, make sure everything is plugged in, and then we are set to go. And that pretty much wraps it up, guys. The install took me about two hours with filming, so you could easily get this done in your very own driveway in about an hour or so, I'd say. Uh, I will leave a link to the spark plugs I used down in the description. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have any questions. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.